can't come here to lose, ne? You can't come here to lose. Sometimes it's like this animal lives with you. Yes, Papa. It's like it lives with you. Sometimes even when you walk around, you go where you did not intend to be. Huh? Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes. You'll go. You didn't plan, but you find yourself going where you were not even supposed to go. Yeah, you are Papa. You are too forward. I'm too forward. Why are you saying I'm forward? What did I do? I'm going to say that I'm accident. You are always protecting him. He was supposed to be involved in an accident. Uh, how do you, how do you protect him? I can't get the exit. No, I find out some like I tell me big seat. I find out some side and run like a right. I lie and when we are Lisa. Speak louder. Repeat. I can't get the exit. He got in the taxi and he was supposed to go to the right side when you got into the taxi. Oh. Yeah. And then when I, uh, big seat. And you said that he must come and sit on the other side at the back seat. Ah. I look back and then. As they were driving, then the the uh, uh, the, the, the tire got a puncture. It got a uh, it got a puncture on the side. You said you must go and sit at. Why? 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 Why are you refusing? Why am I doing what? Why are you refusing? Why are you refusing? Why am I refusing with him? Why are you refusing to give him to us? You are too forward. Always All the time you are fighting for him. If Jesus is using me to save, he's the savior than me. He's the savior than me. So we consider Jesus Christ being the one to remove you from him. It's a luck and no one gets hurt there. Ah, 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 You are too forward. Ah, ah, ah. You are making noise at night. How do I make noise at night? It is because of his watching the It is because of his watching the services all the time. So I make noise. Yes, he makes noise. Get away from us. We are trying to get hold of him, but he does he refuse. So just sleep with RTV on or your YouTube or whatever. Leave it on. As you sleep. You get it, eh? Okay, leave it on. Leave it that way. There are some things that God would deal with. Why to open up the we are right through? He is bothering us at night. It's all about him all the time. How is he bothering you? He will be busy singing songs all the time. He is not sleeping. He does not fall asleep. Give us this guy. 
Give us this guy. Bye bye. Bye bye. You are too forward, Joe. You are too forward. Joe. Ah. 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 We were trying to kill him, but he refuses. So don't be shy about it. Leave it on. Listen, learn, but God is doing something in the spirit. You are here, it's the same. God is doing something in your life because you are here. God changes a lot of things in the spirit for you. Jesus found him in the temple, John 5. He found him in the and see, he said, see, you are well again. What caused it to happen again and again and again? He was found in the temple. You are giving him the piercings, but still is the same way. So why, why do you give him those pains? We are just trying to try all the ways so that we'll see that he will succeed. So now you're going to block every accident planned against you. You're going to block everything. You get it, ne? And please, get from the teaching, ne? Get from the teaching. Believe in what God is saying. You get it, ne? When the word of the Lord is spoken, the wise must listen. You get it? The wise must listen. Then meaning the word of God makes you wise. You become the wise who listens. Even today, we didn't want him to come here. We are just trying to show him somewhere else, but he doesn't want to. He is refusing. You showed him somewhere else. You even direct him. Are you directing him? Yeah, I'm directing. We are directing him. But you, you are refusing. Why? Why? When our papa You are too forward. When our papa. You are too forward. Right through. All the time it is you. It's all about you all the time. Look here. Look here. Look here. Open your eyes. I do I don't want to. Why do you close your eyes? I do not want to. I love you, Fambo. Leave. What do, you, what do you want and what do you want from us? We are just begging that leave this guy always. We are begging. <coughs> He's supposed to die on the first. On this month. You are too forward. How do you know? How do you know? I do not want to. Who can watch someone like you? Who can watch a person or to stay a person like you? You are scary. All the people, they respect you. Just play there, away. You are burning.
Please leave. I want to leave. God loves you. Stand up. Stand up. Let me pray for stomach. Ah. You ready? You ready to drink? Let's pray for stomach now, eh? Drink. How's the stomach? Huh? Eh, Alright, Papa Mara. I'm all right, but, uh, the stomach is always bothering me. I'm all right, but the stomach is always bothering me. I've I've got the pacings on the side. Now, how do you feel now? <sighs> no. <sighs> Everything is gone, Papa. <laughs> God bless you. I can't say scream, but you can say scream. Okay, bless you. God bless you. Scream, but you can't say scream. God bless you. Science greetings, blessed viewers. You tuned into RTV where fulfillment is captured. You are watching the Friday live service dated the 8th of November 2024. Now, Father shared a word of prophecy regarding someone uh, that has an animal that lives in them and that they are going to places that they're not supposed to go. Uh, a brother standing right next to me uh, is one who are manifested on the account of the word of prophecy that our Father Professor Alessandro Daniel shared. We're just going to hear a little bit more as to what transpired in their life confirming the word of prophecy. Uh, brother, please introduce yourself and tell us where you come from. Uh, my sir's greeting to everyone. Uh, my name is Tugan Maduna from Winterfeld, Masai Kopevin. Amen. Now, the, uh, the demon also mentioned that um, you go to places that you're not supposed to go to. Just please uh, take us through what kind of places um, are you not supposed to go to? Uh, the places where I'm going to uh, it's sort of like taverns, yes. And then, uh, like, uh, sometimes in Nugu, Kuma, like, in Kuana, something, the Shendaka Sakunyaka, and Dowlet, and Gafanelanga Kunyaka Tola, like Kuana Moya, like Lung, and Agasam, like, sort of like animal. You only in Gawi, busy, and Ian Landele Lanza. Amen. Our brother was um, confirming that he would feel as though there's a spirit uh, that enforces uh, itself in him that causes him to go to places that he's not supposed to go to. Now, Dimon, Reverend Makako, I have advice for me. I have a doubt that I have a doubt. I have a Like, uh, uh, like the, the Holy Spirit in Fikela, you go like Ungai can do that for not a letter. So that's why you start up up and go like Anuela, you know, the lady. In my now, brother, I was just confirming that as he gets edges to go to these places that he's not supposed to go to, a father would advise him spiritually not to go to those places. Now, a demon or blah blah makaku ami fan limi baka accident itu wanta November. Iko mai mil samsela ku ku meleni itu wanta November. Eh, itu wanta November. Eh, ni tu ku meli ya kan dauli anga fan elanga lagi lagi le anga lagi kan dauli anga fan elanga kunjuka yona lagi tavenin. So Andrew Robini, so lugunwe akaya, and then it happens. 
a highway through like you look say that that they are side they are transfer so and then and some big city so look that can see from a drop in when I'm well yeah like a second got some side draw like a right side like a driver so to come and some side draw and go left so it happened to go there are more that takes like cancel a quantum you know I said like a right to look at the look at the book like and then driver on my side in so Amen. Now, brother was just confirming that um, uh, he once got an urge to go to a tavern and he actually went to and commuted via a taxi. And uh, he something just told him not to uh, sit on the right hand side, but he got advice spiritually to sit on the left hand side. And uh, he followed that instruction. He went to sit on the left hand side. Um, and it, it happens that when they were commuting back from the tavern, uh, they got a tire burst on the right hand side. And and that's where the driver came out and he felt that he was safe because he listened to the instructions. Um, our father also prayed for, as our father actually touched your belly. Dimon, Rablabi, Makaku, Miranda Kuimbelela, Miranda Kuku. Kubukela, Omranda Kulanguta, the life service star, like Ergeni. He come in Samselaku, why Miranda Kulanguta, the service, no Quimbele? Like so far, like he, I guess we can go like he. Eh, uh, so like from 2019 and later, and then so, eh, uh, since Vele, he could fit up a little bit, and remove Vele, like, Nani, like, Yanga, Anga, Koti, Kelela, Kunga, Kota, Kunang, Sati, Savis, but it look since Papa in March, Papola, this year, so Koto, Kelela, Magatakun, Kota, Kunang, Sa. I had service through Facebook and then we continue to share the language that teaches us about everything. So. Amen. And I was explaining that as a father, I had touched uh, his belly, ministering unto him. A demon manifested, saying that he likes uh, tuning in, he likes watching the church services, and he also likes singing. So he was explaining that uh, ever since the church premises opened uh, in the month of March this year, that's where he started tuning in and was fellowshipping with us uh, virtually, and that's where he also fell in love with singing along together with us. Uh, please explain to us, um, what would you like to say to the Holy Spirit or or Marito Kapapa for helping you today? And Ranzo Kensa, a Kapapa, Nileka Kagashquimbu, Kensa, Kunse Relate and Komasiku. So, and Ranzo Kensa, like Sunene, I continue Papa Kuiluela. Like sometimes na na riba na like inuko mandelin but wa riba lela so ndanzo kensa eh lefunga slaya kumarito ya langa na tamasaya so seku eh whatever sometimes look papa I figure la slaba ingi sela so na kensa. Amen. Our brother was just saying that he likes to thank God and our Father for covering uh, and protecting him. And he's also saying that even though us as children, we go out of our way, acting out of rebellion, Papa continues, our Father, Professor Saul, continues to be an advocate upon my uh, upon our lives, uh, uh, rather, and he continues to fight for us and that he continues to reprimand and rebuke us. He also urges viewers out there to listen to our Father's instruction. Um, from my restored brother, Nairis, to God with the glory. Amen. All of you, death is not a portion. I'm praying for you. Ne? Amen. Amen. If you find out that um, in your mind or in your heart there's fear of anything, fear of losing money, fear because you can see money is going to go. You get it, ne? Money's gonna go. Fear of you can see that it's like I'm going to get sick. Fear of like you see, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna die. Fear of please remove fear of anything. The psalmist says, I fear no evil. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the midst of my enemies. So some of the things speak like a psalm, speak to one another with psalms, with hymns, with spiritual songs. You get it, ne? You get it? So you're not all, you're not going to die, no? Never. 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 Never
Never. 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 She's gonna mm. die this way. Never. Never. that death is not your your portion. In a dream, it came into my car. Don't Two, I saw a brown and a black one. No, don't worry. Don't use the car. Go and leave. Go and leave. It's a lot of people getting accidents. It's a lot. It's a lot of people getting accidents. So I want you to pray now, ne? We're going to pray for the whole country. Pray for everyone. You get it, no? Pray for everyone. Because it's... And that's why I mentioned... What if it's one of us? And menu. If you can count people who can get accidents, just... You, you get it now, no? So how much more are they? So let's pray for them so that God can protect us. Hey, 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 you stop it. You stop it on the floor. On the floor, you stop it. You stop it. You'll never die. You will live for the glory of God. Stand up. Take this, ne? Ah, you go nowhere. You are here to live for the glory of God, ne? Yeah. She will never die. She will never leave her children. Now it's you irritating. Leave her. Why, why are you tired of me? No one cares, even oh, and the husband. Huh? You two are the only people who cares about her. No one cares. <laughs> who cares about her? You and the husband. Oh. Because hey, they don't know. Hey, if only they knew. Mm. <laughs> they are playing with fire. <laughs> the word of God ah, says yeah. in First Corinthians ah. chapter 14 from verse 1. Ah. The very first thing says, pursue love. So everything you do to a person, ah. when it's the love of God flowing out of you or flowing through ah. you, you get it, eh? Mm -hmm. Know that you consider the love of God, not your love. <laughs> because our love can fail. Our love can fail. But the love of God never fails. Amen. The love of God is patient. Ah, ah, the love of God is kind. The love of God remains. Life. 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 Life has come.
Life is calm. Life is calm. Life has come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for blessing your daughter. Thank you for keeping her and setting her free from death. Free from death. The last kick of a dying horse. <laughs> what? Use that name. Which mm-hmm. name? This is not Lisio. No. Okay. Lesero. 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 Kick. Finish. Put them down. Put them down. Lesero. As a divine. Finish. Like your father. Like your father. Okay, finish now. Finish now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stand up. Let's live for Jesus. Blessing. Eh? God loves you. Use it for your new family. Eh? You go nowhere. You go nowhere. Tell never say you go nowhere. Yeah. Go give a testimony as well. What is wrong? God loves you. Eh? Besides greetings to all of us, the viewers, you're still tuned into RTV where fulfillment is captured. And this is our Friday all night service. And with me here, I've got my sister who was one of the um, people who manifested when our father, Professor Sikho Daniel, was um, prophesying those who have trouble with their hearts. And then right now, she's going to take us to a beautiful testimony and also introduce herself and let us know where she comes from. Uh, God's greetings. My name is Leseho. I'm from Middlebeck, Mpumalanga. And today, Papa prophesied to me uh, due to my heart problem, and it was spirit of death, and I was not aware of it until last year, uh, around June, when Papa spoke to me on Zoom that it's in the family. And uh, Papa uh, emphasized that... Um, most of my uh, relatives, they passed on due to heart condition. And I explained to him that I was not aware because during that time when they passed on, I was still young and we did not ask a lot of questions on why, what was happening with that person. So when Papa uh, told me about it, uh, late last year, my cousin, she texted me on Facebook and she told me that uh, she's asking for my prayers and she's not a born again, but she was asking for my prayers because uh, she went to the doctor and the, do- the doctor told her that uh, she has heart problem. And during my deliverance, I would tell the disciples about her, then they would pray for her. Then this other time, it was during lockdown, when churches was closed, uh, she told me that she wants to come to church to thank God that um, she's healed. But after that, she never told me anything. She just disappeared after the uh, the healing. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, wonderful sister Liseho. So with this heart um, problem, my sister, that you will have, can you kindly please just describe them to us? Like how do they come to you and um, how often as well? And um, for how long have you had them at least? Uh, this thing is started in the year 2020. It started as palpitations at night. Like sometimes when I was sleeping, I would have like palpitation, then wake up in the middle of the, of the night with those palpitations. Then uh, I took it like for granted. I was maybe it's because of I, I had fears when I was sleeping. I never thought it was a heart problem. I just took it as maybe I have fears or I was dreaming. Then that causes a, my heart to beat fast. Then in the year 2022, 
in January, I went to the doctor. I did not go for the heart problem. I went to the doctor because I had a uh, chest pains and back pains. And when I got there, I uh, they told me to they they started to check on my 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 my, my lungs not the heart. Then the lady who was checking me, she started to say, hmm, hmm, hmm. then I didn't entertain her. My heart is just started to go up, up, up. It was 136 and it's not normal. So uh, the doc, I went back to the doctor after the examination. Then they told me that uh, my left lung, it's blocked. They did not say my heart. They said my left lung, it's blocked and it's an emergency. I have to go to the hospitals as in like now, now, now. Then they called an ambulance. Then after they called it, uh, it they did not respond. Then I told them that my husband will take me. Then I did not go there. I called Pastor Joy to pray for me. Then she prayed for me. Then she told me that I'll, I told her that I will call her back when I get home. Then I went to the supermarket to buy uh, the body and the blood. Then I went back home. I didn't go to the hospital. Yes. yes. Amen. Thank you so much, your wonderful sister, um, Alessio. And then um, right now, my sister, can you please just take us through? You mentioned that um, when these heart palpitations, they will come as well. You will have fear. So during the time when we were screening you, you mentioned a dream that you also had, especially last week. Oh, yes. Because, yes, they were very severe. Can you please just take us through that, sister? Uh, during uh, the week, I called prayer line because I was having palpitations again and they were worse. It's like I, I was having a heart failure. I would wake up, some, something will wake me up and I would drink up and went in well immediately because it's like my heart would stop then beat again. Then uh, one of the disciples advised me to call prayer line before I sleep, not call when I'm not okay. Then after that at night I had a dream and then in that dream I was telling Papa, Papa was approaching me and I was telling him that, uh, Papa, I'm scared of death. And then Papa asked me, who said you are dying? You are not going anywhere. Then I came out of the dream. Then that's when Papa today prophesied to me about the spirit of death. Amen. Amen. Indeed, we thank God for the fulfillment that is captured by the viewers as the dream right now came into manifestation. And then right now, my sister, during the time when our father was um, praying for you, we also found the demon um, uh, also uh, becoming angry concerning the issue of the name. So can you please just take us through that? Like, um, what is your name that you have received from the father and which name were you using before? Okay. Um, before I became a born again, uh, I was using the name Elizabeth, but in short, they were calling me Elisa. Then, But my late mother, every time when she introduced me to people, she would call me e even though the name is not on the birth certificate, but she would introduce me as Lisiho, not Elisa. Then uh, the name, uh, I think it was for my late grandmother, for my father's side. Uh, she was called Elizabeth Ntuki. So that's where I got the name. Then she later... Uh, passed on. Then Papa spoke about, it was during the prophecy about name, uh, the book of names. Then Papa gave me the name, Papa started to mention the name Lisiho. Then I manifested. Then Papa said Lisiho Daniel. Then I manifested. Then Papa told me that I should go to home affairs and change um, all my names and use the name Lesiho and stop using those names. And I went to home affairs. I never struggled when I went to home affairs. Usually they will ask a lot of questions. They will want your uh, your parents or death certificate or if they passed on. But when I got there, I never struggled. I, I changed my name to, Les, to Lesiho and I'm currently using that name now. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Lisejo. And then right now, um, you have received your deliverance today. As you also mentioned that this week, you also had that attack. So um, how do you feel right now in your body after Papa prayed for you? Uh, after Papa prayed for me, my, I feel fine. And I used to have like chest pains and that comes and goes. But after the prayer, the palpitations and the chest pains, they are, they are no more. Amen. 
Amen. And we thank God. He also received two bottles of treasures of darkness anointing oil. Um, and Papa also mentioned concerning the issue of your family that the spirit of death is now leaving your family. So these anointing oils, they are for your family as well. So how do you feel that um, Papa has uh, located the spirit and also has given you the treasures of darkness anointing oil? Uh, I'm happy because uh, my my daughter she struggles a lot. She usually struggles with uh, stomach pains and tonsils. But after pa Papa also prayed for her regarding that, and she was she's fine now. So Papa once mentioned to me that it's a strong man of the family. So with this uh, anointing was, I believe that it will break every yoke. Amen. Indeed, blessed viewers, it will break every yoke. And right now. Uh you have received your deliverance as well as your family, our sister Lisejo. So how would you like to thank God um, and the Father of Prophet Lisejo Daniel as well as the Holy Spirit for the deliverance that you have received today? I thank God so much for Papa. Uh, God knows. God is the one who searches the hearts. He knows our hearts. And before I came here, I was rejected a lot by many people. But Papa... But Papa loved me so much. Papa, he never judged me. He never rejected me. He accepted me the way I am. And I thank God for his life. And I thank God for everything. And I pray God that may he continue to raise our father. I thank you, Papa, so much. And I love you so much. Amen. Mm. We thank God, blessed viewers, indeed. The testimony continues, as Papa also mentioned that when it comes to the love of God, the love of God does not fail. And this is how we need to love one another. And right now, I would like to thank you so much for staying tuned to RTV. Our Father is still ministering to the blessed viewers, uh, or rather congregants in the auditorium, and we are coming back with more testimonies. Stay tuned to God with your glory. You go nowhere. You are here for the glory of God. Eh? <coughs> How do you feel? <coughs> this is Shina. Yes, Papa. Yeah. I dreamt while well, well, I was I was sleeping. Kilor lekar ni kilo operation, and you came and prayed for me. And Prophet Larato gave me an anointing oil and he said, I, I go nowhere. And it happened, Papa, can I go after my... What? All right. So, you want to gossip? No, don't worry. All this. Ah, don't worry. Don't, don't happen. Don't happen. Don't cry. <coughs> Okay, Papa. Sorry, Papa. Why should you cry? I was happy when they said, let's go to the house of God. No matter who you spoke to. Yes, Papa. You get it? Yes, Papa. It's over. Thank you, Papa. God loves you. you. Don't cry. Now, go speak to him again. Go speak to him again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Nothing will happen to you. Huh? Thank you. Huh? Thank you. I thought I was gonna die. Ah, you, you're gonna win. Because I'm like a I was losing my breath. Ah, you're not dying. Thank you're you, here to live. Thank you, Papa. Tell the neighbor, say, I'm here to live. God loves you. Yeah, it's over. That's fine. God loves you. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Stand up. Messiah's greetings, viewers all over the world. You are watching RTV, where fulfillment is captured. You are watching the Friday all night prayer. And our Father has been praying for many, setting them free from all distractions. Blessed viewers with me, I'm with my sister, who manifested when our Father was making a mass prayer concerning people who have the spirit of death. Our sister will firstly introduce herself, tell us her name and where she is from. My sister, can you please introduce yourself to the viewers? Tell us your name and where you are from. My name is Catherine and I'm from Amanskral. 
Amen. Thank you so much, my sister Catherine, for joining us. Um, my sister Catherine, during the mass prayer that our father was making concerning the spirit of death, you manifested to the prophecy. Can you please take us through what has been happening in your life? What attacks have you been experiencing with regards to the spirit of death? On Wednesday this week, uh, I was speaking to somebody on the phone, which I cannot mention who. Um, and then all of a sudden, I felt like my spirit was leaving my body. And then um, on that day, I, I had a dream where Papa was ministering to me. Um, like uh, It's like I've been, I was being operated. And then uh, Prophet Larado uh, Papa, before Prophet Larado, Papa gave me an an, a, 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 an administration and pray, he prayed for me. And then the Prophet Larado gave me anointing oil and he made me to drink it. Then Papa Leso said, um, you, you go nowhere and you live, you'll never die. Yes. Amen. And um, what pains did you experience? I believe as this was something that is spiritual, you also felt it physically on your body, on the things that were happening in the spirit. Can you explain to us what is it that you were experiencing in your body concerning the, after you had a call with this particular person that you spoke with? Like I felt like... Um, like I, I I have a loss of, of, of breath and I felt like uh, my spirit was leaving the body and then I feel like a tremendous call, like I was even shaking. It was, yo, a chaos. Yes. Amen. And after the call, did you at least uh, try to call the prayer lines to get prayed for? What did you do after this incident happened? Okay, after the incident happened, uh, that's when I, I played Raboni and then um, also read the, the God Generals just to meditate and even the weight and just to distract myself, not to think too much about the situation. And then uh, that's when I slept. I had that encounter of a dream. Yes. Amen. And now that our Father has prayed for you, destroying the spirit of death upon your life and also we thank god also for the appearances that you had after you had the call with the person that called you um how do you now feel after our father papa daniel prayed for you Hello, right now i'm feeling okay i'm feeling light even that situation where i felt like that that operation was real um i'm okay now i don't feel anything yes Amen. Blessed viewers, we thank God for the life of our sister that indeed our father ministered life light unto her life. And we also thank God for continuous appearances that we continue to experience for when we go through attacks, when we go through things that want to distract us. There are always appearances that come to save us from all distraction and we truly thank God for that. And what would you love to say to the Lord Jesus Christ for what he has done for you in your life? I like firstly I like to thank the spirit of my father, Professor Liso Daniel, for continuing to appear in our dreams and to protect us and to guide us. If it was not for him, um most of us will, will be dead by now. And we think I thank also the Holy Spirit so that uh, I can serve him more and more in many years to come. Amen. Amen. Blessed viewers, we believe you have learned so much from this ministration and we believe that you also, as you're going through the same thing, touch the screen and just believe that God is touching your life. As from me, my sister and our father, Papa Lesoko Daniel, we say to God, be the glory. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm here to live. I'm not dying. Not death. Not death. Not death. Not death. Not death. Not death. Leave me. Not death. Leave me alone. Not death. Not death. Not death. Not death. Not death. Not death. <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, sing, sing, sing. <laughs>
She could not win. She's there to live. For the glory of God. You are destroying. I will not. Leave me alone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You leave here completely. Bye bye. Your time is up. Your time is up. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. In Jesus' name. Do you think you will die? Huh? 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 Do you think you will die? Huh? Do you think you will die? Huh? We directly put death into the grave. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Planned death has no authority. We remove the authority of death. We remove the authority of death. Out of her life. <laughs> out of her life. <laughs> out of her body, out of her soul. <laughs> All right. We're finished. We're finished. Out of her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is your end. Your end has come. For Jesus Christ is the one. Oh. I will come back. Okay. I will come back. I will see. I will come back. Time is up. Jesus Christ is the one. Jesus Christ is the one. Jesus Christ is the one. I'm not done. I'm not done.
Yes, this you go nowhere, no? Yes, they do. Go nowhere. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you, sir. Huh? We started the second day when we were in crusade at Kahiso. Pardon? We started the second day when we, when we were at Kahiso. No, nah, the second day we were never at Kahiso. We've never been to Kahiso. So now, it was here. Yeah, last I was in a Kukukula between a heart attack and a heart attack. I've never been to Kahiso. <laughs> I felt as if I'm having a heart attack. Yeah, don't do record last year. How do you feel now? <coughs> I'm feeling fine, Daddy. You feel fine now, eh? Yes, Daddy. And the other thing, sorry, Daddy. Last Papa prayed for us for our learners. He was resting. I was writing yesterday. So when I got there, they started with their eyes. And I felt two times. And they said, they give me two chances. So I felt, so I tried to go, but I found middle of God Raphael, he prayed for me, and he said I must go back, and I went back, they didn't want to test me this, the third time, so I begged, I begged, until they tried, the third time, so I was doing well until, I don't know what happened, at the end, you know, I don't know. So I had Barma Navarika face again. Barakia called her itis. We got the thing. So I was late. I went to the doctor. And then when I came, when I came back, it was 10 to 12 and I was writing at 12 o'clock. So I filled the form. I filled the form. And they said, I must pay quickly. When I, I was at the cashier, they said, they can't find me on the system. <laughs> Then they said to me, okay, the date of my, of my payment is expired. I must try again. <laughs> Yesterday, and always when I write, I always pay. The same day, I didn't realize what the date was of payment was expired. <laughs> Yesterday, that's all. And the, the, before, the day before, I dreamt myself failed. But now, this time, it was... My assignment is like I was not qualifying to write my exams because we are starting soon. <sighs> yes, Dad. Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> yes, Dad. God bless you. God is with you. Just believe that you are here for others. Leave a life worthy of your calling. You get it, eh? Yes, Daddy. Forget about the little things. God is with you. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> God loves you. Messiah's greetings, blessed viewers. You are still tuned in to RTV where fulfillment is captured and you are watching the Friday Savers with our Father. Um, with my sister who received a prophecy from our Father during the Mass prayer, uh, she, I'm just going to let her introduce herself and let us know where she comes from. Uh, my sister, please uh, let the viewers know who you are and where you come from. Amen. My name is Ketura Blessing from St. Right. During the mass prayer, our father mentioned or rather prophesied about people who are experiencing heart problems. Can you kindly take us through what the problem was? How were you feeling? Okay, this heart issue is started um the second day of the crusade. I think we were in Soweto, yeah, Kahiso, somewhere there. Yeah, the second day. So it started hitting hard. It's like three times, and I have to stop and listen to it and it was my first time experiencing such so I had to stop and listen to it but I didn't take the rest at that time but it continued daily like it will come eventually it goes comes and goes so yeah today when Papa professor goes it, it will move yeah it will the, the, um, when you continue it will move 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 and I, yeah uh, so it will move and then after uh, Papa today prophesied about it so I went, I didn't manifest, I just went because I know that I'm experiencing the same thing. So I confirmed the prophecy. 
Yes. Right. Um, when the pain would hit you, what is it that you would do? Would you take any medication for it to go away or what would you do? No, no. I, I, I don't have even pills in my house. I just um, unwrap myself because it will hit and I have to wait for a second or two. And then after I'll be fine, then I will continue. Yes. All right. Um, my sister, after you started um, noticing that you're having a heart problem or heart pains, um, w how did it affect you? What is it that changed or how did it affect you in your life, in your day-to-day -day life? Yeah, yeah, it brought fear. Because uh, after, because um, I was hit, I was feeling the pain, it was moving. So I thought maybe it's heart pain, heart pain, or uh, um, I'm going to have a heart attack or something. So I had to Google, her, okay, what is the different the symptoms, like between um, the difference between the heart pain and the heart attack is it brought fear. You know, I was afraid. <laughs> All right. We saw during the administrations that our father mentioned that he is putting death to the grave. And indeed he did that. Our sister, do you still feel the pain right now? No, it's it's all gone. Even I was feeling even body pains, but all is gone. All is gone. Indeed, we bless God for that wonderful testimony. As a God, He is a God who never targets one place, but He makes sure that whenever He delivers you, He cleans you, He removes any kind of disturbance or any kind of death that is in your body. Uh, sister, in closing, what would you like to say to our Father? Uh, thank you, Daddy. Indeed, there is nothing that is hidden before you. God reveal everything unto you, and we thank you for the way that became flesh in our midst. We see you, the way walking in our midst, the love walking in our midst, patient, all the fruit of the Holy Spirit in a form of a person. So I thank God for you, Daddy, and I thank the Lord for revealing everything unto you. Indeed, he knows us. He mentioned that whenever you start to enter into that door, just know that everything is revealed. Everything is seen. It's like a microscope. We can even see the smallest of the details. Our father, uh, in closing, mentioned that you should live a life worthy of your calling. What would you like to say concerning that message? What is your take-home message on that word that our father gave yeah, I'm still meditating about that. You know, the weight of the father, even though when he says he smiles, he do, but it penetrates, you know. But I will redirect my focus from everything, not worrying about anything like all the sickness. We know all this hardship, they are there just to perfect us. You know, the, 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 the popular area, you know, faith that is not tested is not faith at all. So we just need to stay in the way and forget about everything. God will take care of the rest. So I will just redirect my focus to the word of God, to the will of God, to the purpose of God. Indeed, we need that darkness to shine. We can never shine where there is light, as our Father said. Blessed viewers, thank you for tuning in to RTV and continue watching RTV and remain blessed. From me to you, it is to God be the glory. Are we blessed? Tell I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. But did you learn something? Did you learn something? When he says pursue love, meaning let love operate through you. And when it's the love of God, God will flow through, through you. Because it's the love of, of God. It's the love of if there was a challenge in your life, please forget about the challenges that once came against you. You get it, no? Amen. Be it your partner. Forget. Forget. Forgive. You get it, no? Amen. Forgive and forget. Be forgiven also and change. And do what? And change. Because if you don't change, you're like people who are forgiven but not changing. So the person who forgives you, they forgive you just to have a relationship with Christ. You know. 
Mot ou y fait ou y sera la pour Anna le Kamano le Christ ou en a how fait ou. And David, though he messed up other people's lives, but he says only against you, O Lord, only against you have I sinned. La fita le fait le fait ce bateau en si me arre ou le fait ce mudi mufe. So you trouble somebody, you sin against God. Ya no how le fait la mu ou le fait la mudi. That's why he says only against you, Lord, have I sinned. You expect him to mention all the people that he messed up. You get it. But he says only against God. He says my sins are forever before me. My sins are what I have done. Against people. But I've sinned against you only. You get it, eh? Amen. I've sinned against you only so forget forgive and follow Jesus Christ are we clear Amen. forget forgive and just follow who Jesus Christ just tell him forget and forgive forget and and for it means you are going to give today and whatever you give don't, don't remember for give and forget. So nela nanga sona ga o ego se go bo. Give and for. Tswarele o leba. And forget. Forgive and for. Tswarele o forget. 